Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Oh yeah. Now I'm ready to go. <laughs> the reason why I said uh oh near the end of the part when he said that is because, well, I remembered something. And that's something you'll see soon. <laughs> Alright, so let's get out of here and take our- uh, I wanted to tap on Zelda, not double tap to, to do a roll. Carbon is waiting in the train that splashes your car. Let's hurry and take him to the Ocean Sanctuary. Okay, let's go! Alright, so train's facing the wrong way, isn't it? But not anymore after we do that! <laughs> Alright, so we are off! Max speed, go! So it's not a very long trip or anything like that. Or is it? Well, I mean, I guess we could stop and watch the dolphins. Uh oh. Oh no, it's Jolene! Oh wait, no, no, it's not. It's a pirate ship. Okay, we're okay. It's not Jolene. There shouldn't be any sort of issue. Just fend it off. Just no, 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 no. Oh, pirates, you have to protect our passenger! It's mini blends! So this is what the inside of our chain looks like. Oh no, pirates! Dastardly kidnapping pirates! You must protect me from them, Link! Okay. <laughs> so there's four windows that they can pop out of. The, the easiest way to tell where they are is just to watch the upper screen, actually. More than anything. I would say, I mean, of course, when actual combat happens and they, you pop in, then you start looking at the bottom screen, but for the most part, your eyes are going to be up here. <laughs> so, yeah, there's stuff going on in the background, explosive barrels there, but you don't really have to worry about any of those. Just worry about the mini blinds and whatnot. They're popping in here. Oh, no, they're closing in. They're going to get them. Oh, no. <laughs> Nope, nope, that, oh, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh no, no you don't, nope, nope. Yeah, if they get the cage over them, you, you lose. <laughs> but it takes them quite a while to get a cage over them, so... Yeah, it ends up being more like a mini game than an actual combat giblet thing going on here, more than anything like a game of keep up. Uh, two are coming in, oh man, quite a bit actually, when they're, when they get overwhelming, you might want to sp spin attack that, you know, next to Carve, and that'll also, that'll be quite effective actually, other than just don't overuse the spin attack, otherwise you could get dizzy, but yeah, just keep up the power, and yeah, <laughs> just make sure that they don't come, or they don't, they don't stay near your passenger for too long. <laughs> Otherwise, they're gonna cage them up and ship them out. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's the big blend! <laughs> the mini blends have been upgraded! So yeah, just attack them rapidly and wait for them to swing that. By the way. Okay, his range was longer than I remembered. <laughs> Move out of the way. And continue to attack him. There's also gonna be mini blinds still popping in here. He also may do a second swing after that first swing later on. Like after he gets a half health or so, maybe, or somewhere around there. But he takes a lot of hits. Bad, bad, bad. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. I even resized the window. <laughs> bad window. Bad. <laughs> Eh, wait, 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 there's the second attack that I was talking about. I don't think he ever does three, so yeah, just watch for twosies. You can tell if it's going to go for a second one because it's going to pause after, yeah, like about... Yeah, you can also kill his own henchman too, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> it's kind of humorous. And that's not going to be one, so I can close right back in and get those attacks in. Oh! Oh shooty shoot you! Blah, 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 blah. This is more of a boss battle than the the mini blin barrage from before, actually. <laughs> in all in all honesty, no 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 you don't. But uh, even though that there is damage that can be had to you, you're most likely just gonna end up recovering it from all the hearts that get dropped. <laughs> it's ridiculous how much stuff gets dropped that can actually help you keep going. Oh man, thank you. You really saved my hide there, Link. 
Well, now that bit of unpleasantness is over, let's go <laughs> get to the sanctuary. So yeah, that's why I said uh-oh at the end of the last part, because I remember that this was coming. <laughs> but that's okay, it's all over and done now, we can go over to the sanctuary and go musical it up. Woo! <laughs> oh, by the way, if you ever go to like the ends of the tracks, I guess I could show you this here. Um, you won't, like, fall into the abyss or the ocean or something like that. There's barricades. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Like, there's barricades and whatnot. Yeah, as you can see there. It's not... So you can't really, like, go off and insta-kill yourself into the ocean or something like that. So don't you worry about that too much. And I, I, I made him angry at that demonstration, but there's no way I was going to get him down to zero happiness. Ah! We finally made it. It was just a short distance away, but it felt so far. I suppose mortal peril has that effect on a person. <laughs> you must really, you must, you really must be more careful in the future, Link. I tried, I tried shooting him. So now we get a force gem for this. Yeah, whenever you make someone happy in the game, you'll often get one of these. Here, this is for you. You look confused. I'll explain, Link. Every living being possesses an energy, and this energy is similar to the energy that powers the spirit tracks. When a person's heart is especially happy or grateful, its energy levels become particularly strong. Energy levels in the hearts of everyone, even feeble old fellows like me. I don't express it well, but the bottom line is that I appreciate your help. <laughs> Here, please, t please take this. It belongs to you. And whenever you get one of these, you'll get... A new section of tracks added to some portion of the map, and you can bet that they are most certainly worth exploring. So yeah, don't forget to check those out. You plan to continue my journey by train, do you not? Then you must always go forth with people's hearts in your mind. When you make people happy, their spirits emit energy. When this energy builds, new tracks appear. This should be very useful for your journey. Alright, I'll be heading off to the sanctuary now. See you! Now, just for the sake of me not forgetting, I'm going to immediately go over to my rail map, select this, and put lines next to this part here, and I suppose here too, maybe a little bit there. Yeah, that's a good enough indication, I suppose, that I gotta go there and explore them for newness. Yes. Oh, by the way, um, even though you can now call birds over to yourself, you still can't really use them for anything. So you still can't really get the treasure chest over on the uh, corner portion of this next screen coming up here, the upper left corner. You know, the one over by... Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta do... <laughs> I'm drawing on the wrong, wrong side of the screen here. <laughs> I may be able to put my pointer there, that doesn't mean I can actually doodle there until I swap those screens. <laughs> Alright, his sign is gone, he took down his note, thanks again for earlier, Link. Let me reintroduce myself. I am Carbon, Guardian of the Ocean Realm. You're here to restore the spirit tracks, aren't you? No. What? Are you twisting my wheel? <laughs> So, you are actually looking for something, yes, yes, but of course, you've come all this way, so I'll do everything I can to help. After all, you saved me. Very well then, in order to restore the spirit tracks, I'll need your help. You do know about locomole songs, don't you? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, this will probably yield the best dialogue. The special song that you play to restore the spirit tracks in each realm. Each instrument plays a distinct part and combining them creates a song. I'll teach you the song for this realm. No, oh, I guess not. I was expecting to say you restored a bunch of the spirit tracks already. <laughs> and you're still saying you don't know. Okay, so we gotta go blue, orange, purple. So we gotta jump very quickly from the orange. I like doing it that way. Just jam it all the way over. Yeah, just like that. Now, we're going to a uh, real thing, but as before, I'm going to do the things... Oh, I should have read off that dialogue. I was going to do the things that are wrong first, as so I can get different sorts of dialogue here. Perfect. <laughs> 
Yes, incredible music and improvisation that we're doing right here. Yeah, great jam session. Were you improvising there? Just play the parts you practice and don't get distracted by my melody. I would like to try it again. <laughs> Alright, so now the correct notes, but at the wrong pacing. Ready? Three, two, one, prepare! Basically, I'm just aiming to skip the the yellow one more than anything, or play it way early or something. Watch it register properly and it... Nah, it didn't work. Were you improvising there? Oh, I guess he's got just the same dialogue. Alright, alright, so I'll just do it for realsies this time. <laughs> just gotta, just gotta, you know, check those sorts of things to see if he's got new stuff to hear. Now that's more like it. <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah! Woo! Now that's a victory! Over all bad songs everywhere! Oh yeah, so peaceful, but yet so restoring. I completed the duo with Car in the Locomotive the Ocean Road, and the Ocean Road Baron started going over the video's tracks, they're everywhere! They're everywhere! <laughs> Portion of the tracks leading to the Ocean Temple has been restored. The Ocean Temple itself, however, resides deep on the ocean floor. Only a tiny part of it is visible above sea level. To go to the Ocean Temple, you must first head to the ocean floor. Um. I don't have my scuba gear. What? You're wondering if the train can travel on the ocean floor? How dare you question the spirit's strength? The ocean's floor is covered with rails, so of course the train can move freely there. But what about me? The way to get down there is... Uh, blast, I can't remember where the entrance is. Dang it! Oh yes, now I remember. I knew that I might need this information later, that's why I wrote it down for myself just in case. Here, take this with you. And I got a letter! <laughs> In his instructions. Yeah, alrighty. I wish you success. I'll talk to him one more time. I'm sorry, you having trouble understanding my instructions? I thought you had to do things in a certain order, but it was such a long time ago, I can't remember. Well, once we get back over to the map, I'll jot down his directions on the letter, because then I can, you know, swap map screens nice and smoothly so you can see what I'll be doodling marks for on said main rail map. As it'll, it'll, it'll make the most sense. It's gonna take the same amount of time. <laughs> so, you could do it there. We can do it here. I think I'll do it there. Sound good? Okay. We restored the tracks. Why don't we head out to the Ocean Temple? Okay. Okay then, let's go. So, of course, you know, there's also rabbits that we can go ahead and grab around these parts too. So, uh, well, actually, I'm gonna get. Oh, no, no, I. Well. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna say, I'm gonna just go back to the regular, um, train screen, just like stopping my movement and not actually going back to here, but oh no, I went right straight back to here because I didn't draw a path, of course. Of course. <laughs> tap, 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 go, 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 go. Alright, now this is what I wanted to do here. We go to the collection. And now that we're on the regular map, from Carbon himself, Dear Self, I know you'll forget, so I'm leaving you instructions to get to the ocean floor. Carbon. One, two, three. So you gotta do things in a certain order, right? Right, right, so let's put a one there, a two above there. I just don't want to cover up the uh, uh, tracks themselves, basically. You know, like, you're, you're probably... They imply to write it over there, but I just put it next to the track so I can see exactly where said tracks are. All right, <laughs> so we are off, and so all we gotta do is we gotta blow our whistles at each of these locations in order. So I am going to go around and do so just like that. How's that sound? Okay, okay. <laughs> And I can also blow my whistle for the dolphins! Woo! I thought there was a rabbit around. Oh, there it is. Let's see, I thought there was a rabbit. Yes, this rabbit can walk on water. Don't question it. 
or the universe is bound to implode. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh yeah, I got it. <laughs> Alrighty, so I believe you can get like six or seven of them around here at this point in the game, so that is most certainly something to keep a lookout for. That's a decent sideways arch. I'll leave that as is because I don't want to spend ten hours at that. <laughs> Uh-oh, photographer, photographer, photographer! Prepare to stop! <laughs> Woo! Uh, let's see what he has to say this time around. Yes, you will find him all over the world. So, meet again! I heard the ocean spirit tracks had returned, so I came to see for myself. That was quick! It's just a rumor, but I hear that there are even tracks that run under the water. Oh, and guess what else? Just guess! They say that there are sculptures that react to big noises out there, too. Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. Oh shoot, I gotta redraw everything. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Pick it, pick it, pick it. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> and things are running a little bit slow again randomly for some reason. Maybe his camera flashes. Okay, now we're back to regular. I don't know, I don't know. It's just like the game decides to run however it decides to run. <laughs> I think there's another rabbit somewhere around. Uh, maybe, maybe it's on a... Another set of tracks somewhere. Yeah, I think it's actually. Oh, bonus, 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 bonus. Where are you? Where? <laughs> okay, maybe that's. I, I'm, I'm missing rabbit. Okay, it's on that side, not the other side. I was gonna say I'm gonna be missing rabbits trying to shoot the bonus squid. <laughs> oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I was I was gonna stop moving. Oh! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh no! 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 Oh! oh, oh nick of time! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Woo! Woo! I say. <laughs> um. So now, we, well, I guess you can sort of see. I think this is the spot we're going to be going towards. There, we're going to be looking for a certain like. I don't want to call it a lantern. It's it's more like one of those glass gems that you can hit on like the over like when you're the overhead areas. But you don't actually hit them with your cannon or anything like that. See, there's one right there. What you do is you blow your whistle, and then it'll activate. Yeah, see, so you, you can't really shoot at it. That won't do anything. <laughs> and I activated a dolphin. <laughs> that is okay with me. Uh, I think uh, I think there's actually a rabbit down this way. You know what? I'm gonna go run down here really quick because I. I'm, and then I'm gonna come back down the tracks. Uh, or actually, I could go just straight up this way too. But I want to show you the upper portion of the Ocean Temple uh, by going around that way. So I would. Oh, nice! First shot. So yeah, I'm just gonna go flop back around here. <laughs> Don't mind me. It'll just yeah, because the Ocean Temple is. Uh, it's. You can't really see it until you get up to it because you know the way that sprites draw and whatnot, so... <laughs> so you really actually got to take that path in order to actually see the top portion of the Ocean Temple. You can't actually go into it from this upper portion, the only entrance is down below. But it's just, it's just for the sake of showing you the sights. Okay, and I guess there's one more rabbit too. Okay, now, now things are slowing down again for seemingly no reason. Odd. I mean, there's less polygons here than there, than there was in the other areas. <laughs> yeah, there's got to be something running in the background or something like that. So now the Ocean Temple has, has decided to spawn itself. Yeah, it's just it's just the limitations of the system that they had to make it that way and whatnot. So let's give you I'm gonna give you a good little view here. Oh yeah, but alas, you can shoot it all you want to. You cannot do anything about it, though. I think the rabbit is like somewhere around this corner, but I'm gonna keep looking around these areas. For one thing, I can shoot stuff and get giblets out of the barrels that probably dropped out of people's ships. Now we're not returning them to people, we're blasting them for the treasure! Oh, there it is. Yeah, it was around the corner-ish. Alright, here we go. Hey, the Ocean Temple disappeared again! <laughs> Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh, 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 have mercy, oh, oh, yee, otherwise I'm about to come back here, oh, 
<laughs> Three hundredths of a second. I will accept that as a victory, though. <laughs> Alright, so over there... See, well, I was going to stop to show you, but yeah, you can, you can see it over there well enough. <laughs> Voila! And you can turn down this way to get to number three, but... There's another rabbit down this way. <laughs> I'm t so it's like I'm taking the long way just mainly to get said rabbits. Do, 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 do. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna skip going over to number three, and uh, I'm gonna do it like this. <laughs> if there is a track that you have not yet been down, there's probably a rabbit somewhere. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Oh, there's one there. But can I get it from such a long distance? I can! But now the question is, can I net it? Because they are very unpredictable. Yeah! <laughs> so far, so good. Got a good rabbit streak going here. And I'm kind of surprised that there hasn't been any uh, pirate ships hanging around here, unless they don't appear until after I raid the Ocean Temple or something like that. But I'm not complaining. <laughs> and I'm also trying to give you all sorts of views of these uh, little islands around here as I'm going here. And I'm not not trying to pan the camera too much and whatnot if I can help it. <laughs> hmm. Well then, I think it's got to be coming up soon because we're nearing like a out of the way corner. <laughs> so I'm betting it's like around here. Probably, maybe. I'm, I'm sure that there was a rabbit around these parts, though. And we're gonna wrangle those rabbits. <laughs> By the way, in case you don't realize, these uh, ocean areas are kind of like a reference to uh, Phantom Hourglass with how you battle things with cannons, you know, like ships with cannons and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a pretty nice little area and very, quite unexpected for a train. <laughs> Alright, there's another one! Um, let's see here... If you want to, you can also mark on your map whenever you get a rabbit, alternately, besides just marking where a rabbit is if you miss one. That way you'll know which tracks you need to check and which ones you don't, basically, but also... I... I have my own ways <laughs> Got my own notes! <laughs> So I don't really need to mark up the map that much. And then once I get the last rep... Uh oh, there's the ships! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Their, first, their first couple of shots, they don't shoot directly at you, they're just kind of like warning shots of sorts. I'm actually gonna halt my movements here because I want... <laughs> I want to... Oh, shoot. I want to get a rabbit, and I don't... I, I'm not looking for a rabbit when I'm trying to kill them, so... <laughs> I didn't want to get too far or anything like that. Alright, so... Oh, I'm not in full. Whoops. Okay... Oh, there's the last uh, beacon thing, by the way. Uh, maybe it wasn't here? Maybe it was at the other edge? Like, it's not this way? Well, I'll just activate this right now. Uh, yeah, once you do that, then a portal will open... It, well, not portal, um... I guess... Well, maybe it is a portal. A portal to a fish's stomach! <laughs> yes, yes! Uh, but we're not... We can't really... Uh, I could have swore there was one down this pathway here. Okay, I'm gonna just reverse and do it slowly. <laughs> Maybe it didn't spawn because I had pirate ship issue. It, it, it's got it got scared of the pirate ships, and it was like, no, nope, no, nope, ain't gonna happen. I'm not coming out while there's cannonballs exploding everywhere. You can you can try and catch me some other time or something like that. <laughs> hmm. Or maybe that's all that is here. I don't know. Eh, I'm just gonna just do one. Because I could have swore there was one down this middle track, unless I'm thinking of um, some other middle track once I get more spirit tracks restored. Yeah, oh, no, 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 cannon ships, bad, bad, ow! <laughs> I didn't realize he started shoot shooting at me. Oh, shoot! 
And I'd also like to, I'd also just like to start, oh, shooty, shoot, shoot, this is not looking, okay. <laughs> there we go, alright, now, I am stopping right here, because I think that's enough adventuring for one part. So with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you in the next part, when I go ahead and check out the ocean floor. Hopefully, we'll also be able to repair my ship just a, just a little bit along the way too, that would be quite useful to me. 